So today is day two of San Diego Comic-Con 2022 and it's the day we've been waiting for because we're finally getting some fresh new reveals from the Hasbro Marvel Legends team. We had a Hasbro Marvel Legends panel today and normally when we have those panels we get the new reveals. Quickly though shout out to Dan Yoon and Ryan Ting uh, for shouting out all the toy uh, reviewers out there or most of the toy reviewers including myself. Uh, it was very uh, very nice to to hear my name being shouted out by the team so very cool they always recognize us um and i think it's important to uh acknowledge that because it's the only toy company or team that really acknowledges the toy reviewers as much as they do so um you know big shout out to them for always continue on to uh, support us as much as they do so now let's get started with the actual reveals i'll start it off with some of the comic book figures we have the spider-man and his amazing friends three pack this is the year of spider-man of course they are celebrating his anniversary so we are getting a butt ton of spider-man figures and this is yet another um spider-man on that super articulated retro vintage body it's the pinless joints and everything but it does not have the toe hinges so that toe hinge is exclusive to the spider-man and spinneret two pack that i just reviewed yesterday so check out that review if you haven't done so already it's an amazing two pack then we got firestar and iceman this is a cell shaded animated version of iceman also it seems from what i'm seeing in the images here uh, this three pack, I wouldn't say it's necessarily entirely necessary to buy. And you know, if you have all of these figures and they've released them before, you really don't need this three pack, in my opinion. They're just slightly redeckled, all of them, even the Spider Man. I think that might be a different head sculpt on them, but aside from that, um, everything else is the same. Maybe the paint or the you know, the color or the tone of red and blue is probably different on that Spider Man. So unless you're like a gigantic Spider-Man fan, this is probably a pass for you. Um, so not a must, must have in my opinion, but still a cool little three pack if you're missing any of these characters. Moving on to the Heroes of Galactus two pack, we have the Fallen One and Terax two pack. This is pretty cool. We're finally getting a Terax after many, many years. The last time we got a Terax was from the very first Return of Marvel Legends. Uh, build the figure wave which Terax was the build the figure for and it was this exact same figure and although this figure is amazing and still holds up today and it's probably why they used it um, I still feel like they should have redid him completely I'm a little slightly disappointed because I was fully expecting a redo on the Terax not that he needed it but at the same time yeah maybe he did need it it's a little bit um of uh i don't know if i want to say outdated but i give him some pinless joints give him a whole new mold and um and let's get a whole new terax that's just what i had in mind but unfortunately we're not getting that we're getting a, a redeco of that same terax build a figure now if you missed out on that build a figure then this is perfect it's an awesome figure don't get me wrong it still holds up like i said um just just wish it was a, a whole new mold that's all and then the Fallen One, very obscure, different character, but he is a Herald of Galactus, and if you're getting that Galactus has lab, then you're going to want some Heralds to go with him. So this is a perfect two-pack companion piece to go along with your Haslab Galactus. Then we get a retro vintage card X-Men lab-coated beast. This is another redeco um, somewhat. This is the same body mold of the beast that we got. Um, many, many years ago, I don't know, two, two, two to three years ago, I, I can't remember how long it's been, uh, but we are getting a lot of new pieces here, which make it different enough for me to pick up. So we get the fabric soft goods lab coat. This is finally the reveal of that teaser. They've been teasing us for, you know, maybe half a year now. Uh, we're all curious on what the lab coat was for, and it is for a beast. So cool, we get the closed mouth head sculpt and also that um, same open mouth head sculpt that we got before. But we get some some beakers there and then some alternate hands. So overall, this is very nice. I love the soft goods um, coat. It looks really good. This is kind of like their first time really doing a soft goods um, clothing item. You know, full blown shirt, full blown coat here, and it looks pretty pretty decent. If you uh, if you ask me of course he also comes with those glasses which are removable so that's a nice touch 
And then keeping the retro vintage carded line alive, we have the next addition to the Spider-Man retro line. We have Scorpion. And this is the long-awaited classic Scorpion that I've been waiting for ever since they gave us that original Scorpion from that, I want to say, Far From Home wave. Uh, it was the movie wave, but they included like two comic book figures, and that Scorpion was one of them. And now finally, we have... Um, a better looking scorpion in my opinion this is the this is the scorpion i've been waiting for he's got that bendy wire tail as well and he looks pretty pretty crispy a lot of people don't like the lime green color um i don't mind it looks like the animated series it looks like that very classic comic book color scheme so i'm pretty content with that then we do get a few symbiotes here we have agony and we have riot Big old Riot figure is a reuse of that Monster Venom body mold. We also do get a brand new Sentry figure. At first I thought this was on the Vulcan body mold for some reason. I thought I heard them say Vulcan body mold but I, I misheard and they actually said the Grim Reaper body mold. So this is not the Vulcan mold, this is the Grim Reaper one. It still looks good although he does have those pins in the knees and elbows. He comes with that skull head sculpt right there. And he's got that whole new hairstyle head sculpt. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. You guys let me know what you guys think about this Sentry. I like the body on it, but the head sculpt, I don't know how I feel on it just yet. Uh, I guess I gotta see it in hand first. We also did get the Human Fly. More obscure characters are always welcome. And I think he is on the Bucky Cap body mold, unfortunately. Very weird choice. Now that we have the Vulcan mold, why are we still getting buggy cat molds but maybe this is one of those figures that they had already developed maybe a year and a half ago or however long ago it was and it's just now coming out into the light of day so that could be a possibility we got a new black panther as well i have plenty of black panthers so i'm not too crazy about this one um so i don't know but if you're if you're looking for another black panther here he is and then we have a good look at the new Razorback figure. Again, obscure characters out in full force this year. Always welcomed. We're definitely getting characters that, you know, the vast majority of fans may not know of. So I got to mention the HasLab number three tease. They did tease the third HasLab in the Marvel Legends line. And it looks like it's going to be the Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider with the vehicle. I can only assume it's with the vehicle because why would it be a HasLab if it's not with the vehicle? So we might get a full-blown six-inch scale car, pretty much muscle car. So very interesting. They did not confirm this, of course. The only thing they showed was a 50th anniversary of Ghost Rider logo, and then Dwight Stahl posted this image here. Again, the same logo with the HasLab logo next to it, and then this picture I made myself pretty much showing you what to expect or what we can potentially be getting with the next HasLab here. So very interesting and exciting. I was really hoping for a giant man next, but with the success of the His Tank from G.I. Joe, I think they might be trying out some vehicles now. And hopefully they, they do get back to the giant size figures because I do want to see a giant man and a, possibly an apocalypse later down the road. All right, so moving on to the MCU uh, we'll start it off with this new Loki, the new TVA Loki without the jacket. Uh, this comes with a role-playing cosmic cube or Tesseract. So this is probably a re-release of that original Tesseract. Kind of weird that it comes with this figure. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember the Loki TV show messing around with the with the Tesseract, but maybe I forgot about it. But still a cool option in case you want another Loki. Um, this has a different head sculpt as well. It looks like it's a little bit better. And he also has that dagger in his hand with that little flame effect. So that's new as well. And then sticking along with the Loki Disney Plus show, we have He Who Remains. The Jonathan Majors character that appeared on the season finale of Loki. He looks great. No issues here. Pretty nice. He even has his little chanclas there. So that's a nice touch. Uh, moving on, we have some Disney Plus figures. And this time we're going to get Howard the Duck with the Ant-Man severed head inside that little tank piece. That's probably the coolest part about this. Now, Howard the Duck is also cool. Just a little slightly disappointed that his knees are not even articulated. He has no leg articulation at all. Quite the odd choice. I don't, I don't know because they have plenty of room to articulate this figure. So I'm just... 
kind of uh, confused in, in why he isn't articulated. Why isn't he a Marvel legend? I don't know. Not that we're going to get him in, in any crazy poses, but it's still nice to have an articulated figure with Marvel Legends. So it's just an odd choice. There's no, I don't see torso articulation either. It's just really just the arm, just the elbow and the wrist and maybe the neck and that's it. So he's more or less just a statue. And um, and yeah, just a little disappointed with Howard. But um, I think it's still going to be a cool little little release there for your MCU uh, what if setup. So this kind of confirms a third wave. Are, are we on wave three now of what if? Um, so hopefully that I think it's just going to be under Disney Plus. So it's going to be a mixture of What If and Loki and just other various TV shows. And with that, we are going to get the classic Loki, which is a, uh, you know, very popular character from the show. So very nice to see that in Marvel Legends. Me personally, I was actually expecting and hoping to see some more retro vintage carded Iron Man figures. We didn't get anything. Um, we did get to see the War Machine on display once again. And I thought they were kind of reminding us hey look this this is a series coming out and we're gonna have some new stuff and wasn't anything new at least not yet we, we still got a day three to go i don't know if they're gonna reveal anything else they might drop a few surprises who knows but um hopefully we do get some more retro vintage iron man stuff down the line and that is pretty much it for the brand new reveals from the san diego comic-con 2022 hasbro panel very, very decent reveals, I think. Um, a, a few a few things were okay, and a few things were pretty damn awesome. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the reveals. Is there anything that you were excited for in particular? Um, is there anything that you were expecting that you didn't get or, or whatnot? So let's just talk about it down in the comment section. While you're down there, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, take care, take it easy, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.